kind of do need that, not gonna lie. Your boy is kind of fucked up. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Rich Fish. All week, I haven't done a thing. Just sit down, and play a little game, just relax, because your boy fucked up his back somehow. I can't pick nothing up. I can barely bend. Taking a shit hurts. Cause you know, all the pressure in your lower back. You know, you know? Thank you guys so much for 3,000 subscribers, man. It's really crazy. I've been constantly like thanking you guys and saying, oh, 100, 500, 1,000. We're here at 3,000, which is wild. And I see pretty soon we're gonna hit five, then 10, then 15, then who knows? Maybe someday we're gonna hit 100K, we're gonna get that plaque. We're just gonna keep going up. So that being said, this is what you should not buy for your Acura TSX. I got like a pinch nerve, so if I stand the wrong way, if you guys see me like, you know, make a face, don't you worry, I'm alright. just hurts. <laughs> alright, so this video is really what you shouldn't buy for your Acura TSX, your car in general. Some of them vary for what car, some of them are generic. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hit 5,000. I know we could do that. Some say we're growing quick, so who knows? We up next, man. We're doing a top five. So number one, from experience, and a lot of people say, don't get aftermarket axles. And the best aftermarket ones you can get are Raxels. I believe maybe you don't get the shake, the vibration from acceleration from the passenger side. So that's a common thing. You get AutoZone ones like I've done in my last TSX. I've done so many axle jobs, and they didn't seem to get really too much easier. Like, it just kept being annoying, taking a lot longer to smack out. There was times where I'd put it in, do the whole job, and they were already failed off rip. There was times where I got out of on axles and they're clunking and whatnot. Save yourself some time, get some junkyard OEM ones, eBay, or I get some Raxels. I just kind of dealt with it, but it was annoying, and especially doing as many jobs. It's better to do it less and spend on some junkyard OEM ones. All right guys, so let's go to number two. 3,000 years later. All right, y'all, so number two, don't buy off-brand electrical stuff. The TSX really doesn't like electrical stuff, like O2 sensors, knock sensors, any type of sensors, really. From experience, I did the O2 sensors, they didn't like read, or they ended up ripping, coming out, it's pinned or some shit. Knock sensor, I dealt with that with my last TSX, it was kind of like a really weird issue where a bunch of shaking, car was barely revving, it was like revving, but not going past certain speed, it was like stupid weird. I did the knock sensor, got a Napa one. It worked for like two days over the weekend, just to like survive over the weekend and go to this car meet and I think it was like a beach ride then come back to the shop I park up shit I need let me move the car I started up knock sensor is going crazy again it's fucking shaking the car's like, like going OD read the code it was knock sensor literally just did it went and returned that one got an OEM one and the problem was good as new so yeah kind of try to refrain from that some things you could kind of probably make do but more important things stay with the OEM proper treat your car right and it'll treat you right you feel now let's crutch to the number three ah oh f uh, uh, let me not crutch too fast we're here at number three let me hold myself up a little bit <laughs> before I collapse. Number three, don't rice the TSX out. Don't turn it into the Civic AutoZone special type of thing. Obviously, there's private sellers. You could get official stuff, OEM stuff from eBay. I'm not talking about that. There's certain things that are all right you could buy. Like, oh, there's some wings, splitters, things like that. Like, I've done on my last TSX. Got the STI splitter, the black one that everyone gets. Try to stay with kind of more name branded stuff. A lot of eBay sells of things, but there's a lot of replica and fake things of that too. So just be wary of that and don't go some AutoZone Civic Special on us. Every day I've seen people sell their shit and or getting crashed or something. So we gotta stay alive guys, keep them afloat and treat them right because they're getting a little bit more expensive. Same thing with the whole market. Let's go on to number four. Number four, trash tune, K-tune, whatever the fuck everyone calls it. Stay away from it, guys. There's a minuscule of things that are going to be all right, uh, like maybe the ground wires that I bought. Maybe those will be all right. I don't even know if those are official K-tune. Got it from eBay. But those are like ground wires, so that should be fine. Don't get like the shift boxes, clutch master cylinder slaves. I did that in my last TSX. For the nipple, the, like the plug, and then I'm gonna pop it open and let it, you know, flow out. So I don't have the brake bleeder pump, whatever. I was gonna buy one, but then Napa had some shitty shit. And yeah, hopefully she goes. It's gonna work with you know, how leverage works. 
didn't take long for that shit to fail. I think the slave went first and the clutch master cylinder went next because it contaminated it and whatnot. After that, I just went with Exidy. It was fine for a long while. I just stay away from K-Tune. I've seen tons and tons of posts of things breaking, uh, especially the shit boxes. That shit just snaps and things like that. That shit's f***ing scary, especially when you're gunning it. Buy quality products, especially for things that are really crucial. You have a less potential of being fucked because it's not k -tune. It's kind of like number three, get quality products. We're going to go on to number five. man vibes over here. Number five, don't cheap out on suspension parts. eBay, budget builds, save oil overs. At least get some teen street bases. Those are like, I don't know, 450s, 400. It's not that much, you know, compared to what? 280, 300 eBay ones. Spend an extra 100, 150 for some actual name brand and shit. That's not gonna go blow a strut or crack or split some dumb shit as you guys all know max speeding rods that love to just hit up all these random people and just give a bunch of sets of coilovers and be like hey you know let's sponsor you this and that trash ass stuff i guess for like maybe bmws they're a little bit better but for what i've seen with all the honda guys a couple days a week or whatever struts blown this is going out don't cheap out on your suspension especially coils those are like a vital part to your car it's how smooth you're going to be riding so don't you want to drive kind of comfortable and not be bound Bouncing or smacking, hearing clunking. Moog, that's the next, I think, best thing for like non name brand things like tie rods, control arm. I think over time they kind of became a little bit shittier, but it's still kind of like the next best thing other than OEM. Ball joints is another huge thing. People tend to overlook that and they tend to get the kachow moment that I had. But it wasn't because ball joint was bad, it's because somebody forgot to put the cotter pin back in. That happened. Yeah, it wasn't because of that. I didn't hear no squeaking. And thankfully, it was only on turn going 5, 10 miles per hour. Still fuck some shit up and fuck my fender up. Seems like an overlooked problem because people don't tend to their suspension or the maintenance and they love to mod it. What I'm saying is, check your suspension parts, do your maintenance before you start really modding your car because you're going to do that. This, that's gonna break. You know, there it goes, a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That kind of sums up the top five. What not to buy, don't buy. Hopefully you guys don't buy. Treat these cars right, hopefully. Kind of video. I'm just trying to interact with you guys still, keep up with some kind of TSX content along with the vlogs and other things I posted, like well, teaching my nephews how to drive, things like that. If you didn't check that out, go check that out. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to do like different stuff, different content, vlogging, especially once, you know, I get up out of here in CT, I go to Florida. I'm gonna vlog daily, put out mad different videos for you guys. The channel is gonna keep evolving and same thing with the content, quality, gear, life, vibes, everything. So we hit 3,000 subscribers and next is 5,000. I see that really near and then 10K and so on and so forth. And I really hope you guys stay tuned. Keep on, you know, liking, keep on commenting, watching and telling your friends. Check out Rich Media because we up next. It's Rich. Bish, and I'm crunching it out. Yo, peace. Ah. I never take a day off, work around the clock, my engineer getting paid off Rock like Ace Up, light the weed and take off, so high I cannot see Adolf, 